All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Last week's Devil Survivor 2 episode, I got a comment from somebody, and they're saying, "Bonkai, you don't like Yamato? I think Fairy Tail's rotting your brain." To that, I say this: Yamato is a cold, heartless son of a bitch. Of course, I'm gonna hate him. I really hate him in this episode. Oh, by the way, this episode gets a four and a half. Almost a five. Except, you know, the beginning part was kind of goofy. So, yeah, I... Um, so yeah, and this was one I believe was called Thursday of Shock. Now, I've noticed it, uh, of a situation happening in this show. And I didn't notice it at, at, at first with Devil Survivor, but now it, it come, it, it's coming clear to me. This show goes by the seven days. You know how, you know, the story of God creating the world in seven days, you know? That's what this is like. So instead of getting created in seven days, it's getting destroyed in seven days. Ah, you see, that, that, that's the, the message. And this one, this, this episode was called, um, like I said, Thursday of Shock. Beginning part was pretty funny, and that's why I'm giving this a four and a half. Five. Because the beginning part was just anguished one. He's in Hibiki's uh, room. I just say there. It's like, it was so funny. He's, this guy floats in midair. I was like, yo, that was crazy. Um, and he's like drinking coffee with him and talking to him about, you know, a whole situation that he recently found out about the void and all this other stuff and saying about choice what is the right choice to make and all this other jazz and they're talking about those things um and saying you know he's staying in his room and everything it was so weird and it was funny because nita oh by the way nita at the end of the episode I'll get into that later. Nita and Daichi show up, and they're like, oh, because he's a demon and stuff. And they were like, you know, uh, kind, of, kind of freaked out. He's the enemy, but he's not. And, you know, his whole purpose, really, the anguished one, Alcor, is to observe. He's only allowed to observe the humans. He is not allowed to get involved. He can't get involved with, um, for example, helping them in any other way against the Cetrinians. He has to not do that. He can only observe them. And, you know, it was funny because, you know, he was telling, you know, he became about choice, about what is the right choice to make. You know, and he also goes into details about um, his relationship with Yamato. They used to be friends, but they're not anymore. So you can see how I could say how Yamato's is a cold-hearted son of a bitch, because, you know, the Anguish One isn't hanging out with him anymore. Um, then there was that, and <laughs> we're all jostling with the, with the, you know, uh, you know uh, Anguish One. And after that, we had another mission going on. But this time around, Hibiki wasn't going to be used to go and attack the Saturnians. This time it was going to be something else. It was going to be Ari and Hinako? Uh, looking for a name. Yeah, Hinako. So Hinako and Ari are going to go and attack Saturnian. Unfortunately, I forgot the name of the Saturnian, um, but it was basically this... It was in space. On some, like, Evangelion shit. <laughs> anyway, um, it was in space, so they had to use those to those two. But they used their demons because they had the best long range attacks, and he because Bayako wouldn't work at all. So, and then um, going to um, I think it was um, Hokkaido to that tower, each of them, and they were gonna go there, and they were gonna use their demons to attack. Um, the Saturnian that was up in space. And basically what happens is, I think it's 
Not Ares, because Ares even gets trapped around this tower thing. His chains. So Hinako's demon is used uses and just has this like freaking lance shit this freaking lance thing and just throws it and it's like almost like uh Oscar in Evangelion. I was thinking about that. Well watching that, I was thinking about that. Well not Oscar, it was Ray. Uh she took the lance of longinus and she threw it at the angel in the in the in space. Well that's basically the same thing. I basically it threw it and it hit right at the core of the Trinian and destroyed it. Destroyed the core. And after that, they all went, they went and evacuated. But unfortunately, <coughs> apparently, the shell of the Trinian wasn't destroyed. So yeah, it was coming down to the earth. It was falling through that, you know, and everything. And it was going to flatten the city that's there in Hokkaido, um, Subaru, Subaru. Um, so they had to leave. So they all evacuated, but people in those houses got killed. And then that's when he he was yelling at Yamato for that. And listen, this guy Yamato, I have only this to say. He's a son of a bitch. He's a cold-hearted, heartless son of a bitch. He intends to use people, like, all the time. And he's like, it's your brain. You know what's running your brain, dumbass? Your ass. I'm not going to be calling. None of your brain, none of your brain. They take the the, the, the the pole you shoved up your ass out. Stop getting butt hurt, dumbass. Whoever wrote that comment. Anyway, moving on. After that, they escape, you know, Ari, Ari and uh, Nico. Then they go back to the headquarters. And then all of a sudden, we see, you know, we, we, we get a scene with, with the English one. And he's he's thinking about what happened. Also, and he says, oh, that that's how, how it is. They all are having dinner. Kind of weird, but they all got this food prepared and dinner prepared, and they just basically are. This was just this scene. I will say it right now. Say it right now. Yamato is going to get what's coming to him. I'm telling you guys right now, and the way Minako. I think that's her name. You know, the one who's just like, uh, Makoto, not Minako, Makoto. Makoto was like, always like her head had down. Like she didn't say anything during the dinner party. Like she was like, you know, not saying a word. And, you know, they're basically talking. He's basically saying that there's only two demons left and then all oh, everybody can go back home. Yay! It's, it's not that simple. Because basically, after the last two invade, uh, Citrinian army invasions, last two, they're going to go Polaris. Polaris is going to show up. This god, uh, omnipotent god that they're going to confront. And Yamato wasn't even hiding it. And even he was arguing with him back and forth during this, saying, you know... Oh, you're gonna use him to create a new world? And he's like, and he's like, if anyone doesn't follow me, they could just die. I'm like. And this was kind of a moment. And I and, I, and to be honest with you, the whole reason I also don't like Yamato, he was talking back to everybody. Like everybody. He was just saying, fuck you, fuck you. And that's what it felt like. He was talking back to Hibiki, he was talking back to Nita, he was talking back to Ari, everyone who was at that table. And then we had um, the, you know, Fumi, uh, she was saying a few words about it as well. And after that, he leaves, the music kicks in, Hibiki confronts him in the elevator, and then he's like, you know, he says, you'll remain by my side. And then he'll be... Then, then you'll decide uh, 
you know, to pass judgment on me. I'm like, God damn, you arrogant motherfucker. Yamato, Yamato, he, he is more, he probably, let me tell you something. He would give Bayakuya, Itachi, and Sashobu run for their money. I know that sounds like kind of a, of a crazy thing to say, but man, the arrogance. He, he, he's going to be like, he basically wants CB always to be by his side. Like, all the time now. Based upon what he was saying there. And, you know, this was such... And then he leaves the elevator and he says, yeah. And Yamato, Yam, uh, he, he promises to him, I'm going to do that. I was like, yo! Now, I really like this episode. Not because of that. Okay, after that, we see Nita. She's in her room and she's looking at the phone... And she's like, she wants to go, she wants to go, you know, she's crying, and it's pretty sad. Then Makoto walks in and says something to her. And says, oh, what, what is, and she's asking her, what is this about tomorrow, you know? And she says, oh, yeah, tomorrow you're going to be sacrificed. You're going to die for us. Now I should let everyone know. It's time to rewind, people. It's time to rewind. Because this was suggested before this episode. Go back. Um, I'm not sure what episode. But if you go back to the ep there was an episode where um, Fumi, she looked at... Her, she was seeing, you know, people... I think this was the episode... Last week's, yeah, I think it was last week's or the week before, where she looked at Nita and she says, oh, that's our sacrifice. So this was foreshadowed, <laughs> in a way. Now, right off the bat, I need to say this right now. If she dies, Yamato, you better get on the next bus out of here, because Ibiki is just going to go... Schizo on your ass if she dies. He'll kill them all. He'll kill. He'll kill Yamato. Yeah. Ooh. This. Is... But this was a great episode. Four and a half out of five. Uh, next week's gonna be even greater. If if she dies, holy shit, shit's gonna hit the fan real fast. And the person who says, "Hey, it's a fan just ready to bring." Fuck you. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. You don't like Naruto? <laughs> oh, you don't like, uh... Do you like a pole up your ass? How about I do that? How about I go shove a big pole up your ass? But anyway, um... Still a great episode. Yamato, man. Arrogance. Ah! It's like... Wakes up the first thing in the morning. How... Can I piss off people? Oh, I know. I'll say, if you don't follow me, you'll die. And also, I'll tell Hibiki, you know, you're going to stay with me. You're going to stay with me. And at the end, you decide to pass judgment on me. I'm like, yo, Yamato, got a death wish? Yeah, that really felt a lot, man. At least that's from my opinion. But tell me what you guys think. Comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Four and a half out of five. Oh my god, Yamato, you are an arrogant son of a bitch. You're cold as ice, man. Cold as ice. I don't know. And tell me what you guys think. Where do you rank? This is an extra question. Where do you rank Yamato? Is he... Where do you rank him among the three? And when I mean the three, I mean Bayakuya, Hitachi, Shishomaru. Where does he rank among them? Especially as far as this, this archetype is concerned. Is he better than them? Is he on their level? Tell me what you guys think. What is your opinion on that? Where do you rank him among those three? So yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, this is Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Shit's gonna get real next week if needs dies. Tell you right now. Tell you right now. See ya.